Hey everyone, welcome back to Created Rocks with Dan the Rock Man. Great to see you again on this beautiful hot day. And I'm here at Pope Lick Park. It's in Louisville, Kentucky. And a uh, shout out to Kurt from Rock Hunting Adventures. He told me about this location. Recommend you check out his channel. He's got lots of cool rock trades. I did one with him. And uh, so we, I'm gonna hopefully find some honeycomb fossil uh, coral today. So that's what I'm looking for. All right, let's get started. Okay guys, the I'm looking for them going across this bridge that goes into the park and there's supposed to be a trail on the left so we're going to look to see what we can find. There's supposed to be a little creek down there we can look for stuff so let's see what we can find. There's a little creek down there. Ooh, look at that. Should be cool. A little sandbar over there. I think that's where I'm heading to. So. We'll find out here in a second. After a little bit of walking, I did find the secret hidden left trail. And uh, I don't know how I missed it the first time. So I'm gonna go down there and get out to the, the sandbar area. Saw someone swimming already out there. And uh, let's see if I can show it to you. It's just right up here. Now obviously, just rock hunter safety Watch out for snakes in the summer. But other than that, it should be pretty good. Here it is right here, this little tiny trail. All right, here we go. Yeah, I was talking to one of the park people before I came down the trail. This whole, this whole river turns into a different river. And uh, they've got, it uh, goes for like 26 miles or something. So it's a pretty big park. So let's see what we can see. I hate it when the the rocks get dirty like this and you can't see too well what they are and so this is like always always bring a spray bottle which I never do so just FYI for you guys so let's let's see what I can find all right I found my first little bitty honeycomb the very first one honeycomb coral right next to this big old clam shell and so I think I'll probably leave this guy see if I can find a little bigger one but that's kind of a promising sign, finding something already. Yeah, they got, oh, look at that, oh wow, look at this. These are kind of nice, actually. Look at this guy, he's pretty big. There's like a big brach, brachiopod right there. So I might keep him. And maybe not, we'll see. Yeah, see here's some right here, look at this. Oh, well, this is kind of cool. I'm not, actually, I'm going to keep this guy. That's kind of neat. Oh, nope, nope. Scratch that. Here's a cool one right here. That's a good one for the day. Look at that one. A complete one. Look at that. And I'll get it to you. It's hard to film in the sunlight here. Sorry, guys. There we go. Look at that. That is sweet. Complete one right there. Oh, here we go. A little piece of honey coral. I'm actually going to take this one because it's kind of hard to find here in the... Here are the dirty rocks here. Oh, look at... Oh, man, look at all these. These are stinking cool. Look at this. Finding a ton of these brachiopods. Look at that. That is really cool. I want to keep these. You see there's just a whole mess of them. Look at it. There's some. There's another one. Oh, look at that guy. They're like everywhere. All right, let's see if I can find some more stuff here. All right, here's a piece of coral horn coral right here. I can pull it out here. There we go. I'm gonna wash this off and see what it looks like here. Oh yeah, look at that. That's a nice piece. If 
Finally, a nice bigger piece. I'm hoping for one of these. Okay guys, learned an important lesson. The, uh, my phone overheated. I've uh, filmed in extreme cold and saps your energy from your battery really fast. And if you film when it's too hot, you just can't do anymore. So good lesson learned there. I found another little piece of honeycomb that I want to take. Okay guys, trying to find enough brachiopods for each of my daughters. I'll check on this, but I think this is the Kentucky State Fossil. Uh, but I'll, I'll double check on that for you. Yeah, I'm just looking by this nice big log where a lot of the stuff gets washed up. I found this really nice piece of honeycomb coral right here. Take that one home. Look at that, that's cool. Yeah, I just found some really cool pieces here. Oh, look at this. Here's a, I think, no, just a piece of coral. I found a couple really cool pieces in here, just underneath this log. We we'll probably got washed in there and see if I can find it. Here's, here's a cool piece of horn coral. And look at this. This would just phenomenal. Let's see if I can find it. I put it in the bag. And look at this. Look at all these little clusters of brachiopods together. One more. I think. Yeah, look, I found this one too. Look how big that is. Both sides. How cool is that? So always a good idea to look under logs. But watch out for snakes, always. Usually where rocks get washed up like this, excellent place to find stuff. There's another little piece of honeycomb coral. Try to get enough brachiopods and honeycomb coral for me and my daughters. I got four of them. So, so far so good. This looks like a little cool. Here's a little, I think, I think this is called a trace fossil uh, or a mold fossil, I think. I can't remember which one, but where you can see the imprint of the fossil. So I'll have to check on that for you too, what it is. Oh, a really cool one. Look at that one. All those brachiopods together. That is super, super cool. All right, here's a really cool one. Now this isn't the actual fossil, but it's like a whole bunch of, I uh, can't remember if they're molds or what they're called, but I think that was cool. Now I think this, when you see them all together like this, I mean, it's hard to tell because you're not looking, but they're everywhere. And to me, it just seems like there was a clam bed here that when the floodwaters came, just crushed them all together and washed them together and buried them together. And that's why we have what we have now. Hey, I found a really cool one. I don't know if this is a uh, horn or a, what is it, a honeycomb coral. But look, it's just, you kind of see it's just like right in this little area. It comes off in a little cone on top. I'm not sure what that is, but I thought that was cool. I'm probably going to check out this little edge here by the creek stream here. And then probably go because it's been a great day. I found tons of brachiopods and honeycomb coral pieces and I am sweating, so I'll, <laughs> I'll clean up all these pieces for you to see later and uh, show them at the end. All right, just want to cry out with all the fossils and praise Jesus for all he's made. Bye. All right, guys, I've just got a theory. I'm just almost done for the day, and it never fails. Just as you're about to leave, you'll find the best or one of the nicer pieces of the day. And I think this one qualifies for that. Look at that. That's a nice little piece of honeycomb coral. I like that one, that'll come home. So always, always be on the lookout, especially when you're done with the rock hunting, the rock hound hunt for the day. Just be on the lookout for that last good one that you can find. All right, bye.